We are here at Twitch hanging out with the only Ryan talking all things E3. How's your E3 going, Ryan? It is going absolutely amazing. How about yours? It has been absolutely fantastic getting to hang out here with Twitch, chatting with partners like yourself, uh, and hearing cool. some highlights. Well, uh, yeah, no, I, actually today is my first day getting a chance to see the showroom floor and everything else around here, and it is it is crazy just how much blows up here in Los Angeles during E3. It is unreal, honestly. It's like LA just becomes E3. It is. It, I mean, I was just looking around, and, and there is paintings of Borderlands 3 everywhere. There is building size... Uh, poster strength. It's, it's just, it's nuts. It's nuts. It is definitely the best time to be a gamer in the city of LA when E3 comes into town. Indeed. This is one of the things like I, I sometimes regret moving away because I'm just like, oh, oh, look at all the things. So speaking of Borderlands 3, I know you're a big Borderlands fan. Talk to me. What have been your highlights from E3 so far? Well, okay. I have to admit, uh, uh, as some people know this, I, I worked over at Telltale Games and I worked on Tales from the Borderlands and they got a six foot five man to squee when I saw Reese on there and, and it was like, oh, the, the, they're continuing on. I was, I was so excited and ever since then it's just been like, I'm like that little kid that keeps on trying to sneak the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Like, can I get a skin? Can I get one more? Can I, can I just get a little more information? So I'm just, I've been thoroughly elated and seen every little tidbit. And then the the dropping of DLC coming up for Borderlands 2. Right. That's gonna tie things together. I'm I'm just over the moon. I was not expecting that at all. Not at and all. And it just gets me even more hyped for Borderlands 3. Yeah. Which exactly. I didn't think was possible. If no. I'm being perfectly honest. I, I didn't think so either. <laughs> so what else has been exciting to you? Uh, Psychonauts 2, that is 14 years in the making. Like, that was actually one of the games that made me start working at Telltale Games. I played that, I was super excited. I, I love what Double Fine does. And when I heard Psychonauts 2, it's just like that little kid once again inside is like, ah! Like, I was just insanely excited. I love that it doesn't matter how many years goes by no. between installments. We are still just as hyped for the games that we loved when they first came out as we are today for their continuations. Yeah, it, it, and then the only other, the other one, I mean the only, there's so many others, but the other one that I'm really excited about is uh, my friend Pedro from Devolver Digital. Ooh. That uh, created by basically one single guy, that game. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it absolutely just blows my mind when you just look at it. But yeah, the, the artistry and the programming and everything else, like he's had a little help here and there, but yeah. So it's as, as a content creator, as a game developer, all like I'm just, I'm excited to see stuff that everyone's pulling out and, and creating here. I was gonna say, especially as a former game dev, you have such a unique perspective, not just as a Twitch partner and a full-time streamer, but to be able to bring that background to E3 your insight is so unique, and I, I, I love hearing what excites you in these games because of that. It, it is one of those things that my, my community uh, understands, like when they watch, I'm going to stop sometimes and we're going to talk about things from like maybe a game dev point of view a little bit, like give this little sneak behind the scenes of how I think this was built or where this is going, and I do. I, I geek out about certain games just knowing like how it was created. It, it's the idea of like when you're watching, hey, Bob Ross, right? Really popular on Twitch. Uh, you know, his, he'll create these fantastic things, but knowing how he does it and the artistry that is involved just makes you appreciate it all the more. That is such a good way of putting it. And especially with your background in Tales from the Borderlands. I'm so excited. So talk to me a little bit about Borderlands 3. Is mm -hmm. there anything that's standing out in that game from what we've seen so far that you're excited for? I am super, super thankful and excited. Like, I, we're actually, so we're going back through my channel and we're actually replaying through all the Borderlands. Borderlands 1, her sequel, 2, all that that stuff and uh, we have friends that we play with a lot and the idea that they made it so like if I'm level 20 or whatever and then a friend pops in he's level 10 and we can actually play together and the uh, loot will actually change for my level to his level so we can pick that stuff up is that that has always been the biggest gripe 
like, I, you have friends, you wanna play with them, but you're gonna be like, nah, dude, get to my level, okay, no, catch on up if you wanna play together. And now that's, that's no longer an argument, that's perfect. Oh, absolutely. As somebody that is newer to Borderlands, that was a big concern for me with leading up to Borderlands 3. I'm always a lot slower to learn shooters, and knowing that I can play with more experienced players like yourself, and actually be able to keep up and we can both share the loot the way you're describing. Yeah. It's such a great feature and it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Same here, same here. I, I'm, I'm just over the moon. And also, I can't wait. Flack, that character, like, and also, I'm curious, because this has been a rumor, and I, there's no, there's nothing to, to, to root this in concrete, but I am, I'm excited to find out. I've heard rumors that Flack may have some connection to Loaderbot from Tales from the Borderlands, because there, I saw on Reddit, people were like taking pieces of his robotic and be like, this looks like this was Loaderbots, and this was Loaderbots, and so I'm just, I'm, it's complete and utter rumor, and I'm just like, please help that to be true. Oh my God, if that's true, like, that's my character to the day I die. That would be amazing. That'd be amazing. And don't you just love, I mean, E3 has barely just begun. There's still so much that is yet to happen, and we already have people putting things together like this yeah. and getting so unbelievably hyped up. I love, the people that do that on Reddit just make my heart <laughs> grow 10 sizes. The level of care and attention to detail that we put into those kind of things. It makes me so happy. I'm so happy to hear that you're excited for oh, Borderlands yeah. 3. I'm, I'm giddy. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah. It, like I said, they made a six foot man cry. So, you know, what do you got? I feel like that should be a marketing slogan right there. <laughs> if it can make a six foot man cry, <laughs> who among us can't it make cry? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, we've heard a lot about what Ryan thinks about what's been going on here at E3, but I don't know about you, Ryan. I would love to hear from Twitch chat. Uh, we've talked about what we are enjoying seeing announced. What we haven't talked about is what might not ever get announced. Yeah. So, Twitch chat, if you will check out the extension that will show up on your screen, we do have a poll for you to follow along with at home, which will more definitely, maybe, never, possibly <laughs> happen. Skate 4 or Half-Life 3? Oh my god. <laughs> This is a bit of a heartbreaking question for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so sorry to have to ask it, but I'm curious, Ryan, what do you think? I mean, it, the, I want Half-Life 3 at some point in time, maybe someday, I don't know, but the memes, man. There's been so many memes. I, I, it's almost like, would I want the memes to die? I don't know. I, I just, I, don't, I mean, for me, yes, Half-Life 3, someday, maybe, possibly. Potentially. What about you between the two? Honestly, I will say I love that you bring up the memes yeah. because it almost feels wrong to rob the internet of yeah. the memes yeah. at this point. I feel like Half-Life 3 is something that so many of us have hoped for for so long. Long time. But I do love a good Skate 4 meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are, are we just, are we basically boiling this down to memes that we, that I, we're, we, we, we almost don't want them to come out because it would spoil the memes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. A hundred percent. Well, I'm sure Chad is really going to enjoy that. That being said, I mean, I might love a good uh, Skate 4-3, but it looks like the results of the poll are 73% uh, for Half-Life 3. Okay, that makes so, sense. So, interesting. I honestly, I can't disagree with those No, people. I can't either. Really, no, I'm not going to really. on it. No. But I would love to hear a little bit more. We talked slightly about the kind of games you play on your channel, but mm -hmm. why don't we take a chance to chat about your community and your content? Wow, so I mean, I've been on, on Twitch now for a little going over four years. Uh, we started actually, since I was working at Telltale Games at the time, as a charity uh, channel, just purely on charity. I would just do it in my spare time. And uh, we created a charity team as Playing With Fire. And so up to date, after four years, we've raised over $500,000 for various charities for St. Wow. Jude, Extra Life, uh, stack up, um, that kind of stuff. But when everything happened to Telltale, I was like, you know what? Let's 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 do this. Let's go full time. Let's just let's just jump right in. And so uh, now the the community we've grown to where we focus on on story games a lot. You know, so I try to give the peek behind like Cyberpunk 2077 when that comes out. Oh my goodness! That's my channel. That's that's I'm the so cinematics excited. and all this stuff. Uh, but 
and then also I'll do artwork because also part of my channel is educating streamers or new streamers on um, how to build things out. And so a lot of times I'll try to help them out with that stuff, mm -hmm. uh, create emotes and various other things. We'll also do VR workouts. My goal is 100 pounds lost by TwitchCon 2019. Wow. So uh, we've been using a, between PSVR, I'm also a Just Dance uh, partner, so we'll be doing Just Dance and, and everything else. So uh, it, it is a true variety show in the sense of enjoying stories, laughing as a comedy show, because uh, you know who doesn't need a good laugh once in a while. You sound like the poster child for being a variety streamer. <laughs> you have story games, you said you're making your way through Borderlands, so yep. you have shooters, you have fitness activities, you yep. have art. Is there anything that you don't do on Twitch? We also do cooking streams uh, with my wife since she's a uh, accomplished chef. Uh, we branched down into Twitch Sings. I'm sorry, viewers, especially for <laughs> the bleeding ears. Apologies in advance yes, if of you course, tune in to a course. Twitch Sings. We actually thing. have to do a Twitch Sings now of me acting like Professor Frank. Uh, the Jerry Lewis, like, hello, late. I got to do an hour of that. So. Okay, so if viewers yeah. want to tune in for the Professor <laughs> Frank stream, where do they find you on the internet, Ryan? They'll find me under uh, twitch.tv forward slash the only Ryan. <laughs> Two ends. Once again, don't blame me. My mom started when I was born. She was like, what are you going to name a Ryan? And, 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 and they're like, we don't have enough room for 20 ends on this birth certificate. How about two? She's like, I don't care, sure. So I had no idea. You, you, I, I I've known know. you for years, and you have, you have no idea. I didn't hear that story for Oh, Ryan yeah. No, I, I wasn't me being cheeky and be like, well, there's another Ryan out there with one end. Uh -huh. No, I, was, that's, I have two ends in my name. Wow. Well, <laughs> I guess we all learned something together today. We grew together. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Ryan. It has been wonderful getting to know you and your community and your content a little bit thank better. You. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your E3. You too, Nagy. You are absolutely, by the way, killing it as a host. So nicely done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope the rest of you are looking forward to everything that Twitch has in store for you this week at E3. We have so many days left of content to cover. It's a lot of fun stuff coming up. And definitely don't forget, starting tomorrow, you can cast your vote all week in Twitch's E3 2019 Best in Show Bracket. Uh, we will be having you vote for your favorite games and E3 moments, so be sure to tune in Thursday at 4 p.m. when we announce the winner. I feel like some of my favorites that I would put on my personal bracket probably uh -huh. haven't happened yet this week, but mm -hmm. I think you and I both, Cyberpunk would make that. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, the second they showed Keanu, I was like, okay, done, done. Sorry. No, I know the there. internet is exploding with Keanu <laughs> right now, yeah. but for good reason. He's made a resurgence. Like, Good God, yes. He's, he definitely has, has rode the wave. It's, it's awesome. I almost want to put Keanu on my bracket separate from Cyberpunk. <laughs> I could have a whole bracket just for Cyberpunk at this oh, point. Oh, entirely. No, I, that one, and, and I'm sorry, Borderlands 3. <clears throat> Borderlands cough, 3 cough. makes the bracket as well. <clears throat> okay, good, good. Definitely follow along this week uh, and share your brackets with us because we'd love to hear them. Love to see them. Thank you so much.